Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the Wild That's Crazy podcast. What's going on, people? What's going on? Happy Sunday, fun day, guys. What up, though? Okay, before <laughs> we um get started, you know, first of all, I miss this place. And <laughs> my co-host did a great job. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. I'm, that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start off with, um, you did a great job last week. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so you, thank you. anytime I'm critiquing or just... You know, giving pointers, that don't mean you ain't do a good job. You did a great job. I want to thank you for everything you did that week. Thank you You're to welcome. Cassie. Hey, Cassie. Hey, mommy. Thank I you, love Maya. you. Maya, right? Hey, my little tootsie. I call her toots, okay. but her name is well, you Maya. You call her toots. Maya. That's my little tootsie. <laughs> and Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. Hey, Taylor. Enjoy this day off, Taylor, because I'm working your ass. Oh, you get back. Lord, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I got your back, Taylor. And, you know, thank you guys. You guys did a great job. I enjoyed the conversation, and you did a dope job. Of course. You know? Thank you. I mean, for me, I just wanted to make sure, like, I know you're the perfectionist here, mm -hmm. and I always, people think that I'm all, like, everything got to be perfect. <laughs> yeah. I'm the laid back one. No, I'm the one. I'm like you're one. like the damn warden, yeah. so I'm like, yeah, so let me. <laughs> sometimes when I'm texting her, I gotta be like, yeah. thank you, I, I appreciate you. Because you know, if you ask me a certain way, I'm be like, excuse me. You well, said what? I'm gonna still say it, but yeah. I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna put some respect <laughs> on her name. Put some respect. <laughs> but Taylor, name. so with yeah. her, Taylor and Randy, you know, when I'm texting them, I try to be like, thank you, I'm gracious, because mm -hmm. I know, like. I you gotta, know you gotta handle them a certain I'm way. like yes, delicately. Yeah, because yeah. you gotta give everybody respect and show them yeah. how much you appreciate them. Yeah. And I feel everybody do a great job. So I feel mm -hmm. like I've all I always gotta tell you guys, and I'm always do that no matter how big, small, successful we get. Like I'm always gonna thank the people I'm around. Of course. I, I, yeah. I appreciate I'm, it. And thank you. Like I always say, you people always ask me about this podcast and they always talk to me and ask me what made me discover. I'm like, I was asked to be a part of this greatness that we're we've created together mm -hmm. so i always give you your props and always say you're the creator you know what i'm saying because you are you asked me to be a part of this i had no inkling no <laughs> nothing <laughs> nothing literally and i'm like i thought about it like okay i'm yeah. a private introvert that mean i gotta allow people into me mm -hmm. and i'm mm -hmm. the total opposite i like i i like my privacy yeah i never asked yeah. you like um yeah. about what you was thinking when i asked you that um I was really thinking, like, I'm more of a straight shooter, call it how, how I see it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sugarcoat nothing because life hasn't sugarcoated anything for me. Mm -hmm. So I thought about, like, damn, people going to think I'm me, going to think I'm this, going to think I'm that. And I really don't care what people think about me, but I don't want to put that image of myself being this mean yeah. person. So that's what I thought, like, because I can come off sometimes a little yeah. bit, like, because but, that's just who I am, you that's know? That's why I told yeah. you, you tell your story. And then, yeah. honestly... And you can attest to this, and I'm going to say who you are. But mm -hmm. it's one of them things where you don't have the woman like you being presented on social media and TV. Like, mm -hmm. they don't glorify the strong, independent woman right. that don't got problems. Mm -hmm. Now, we right. see the ones that's like, oh, mm -hmm. man, up. I get my own burger. I do that. Mm -hmm. Like, we see that aggressive. Because I get never, ratings. We never mm -hmm. see the one that's humble, that's cool, that's mm -hmm. passionate, mm -hmm. that's caring, that'll mm -hmm. hold her dude down, mm -hmm. that's supportive. That can yeah. have conversations that other people might deem to be, whoa, that's love. But that's what me and like. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the type of woman that keeps the dude. Yep. The one that just know Hello. how to keep the peace. <laughs> keep so, the man. Not only get the man. Yeah. So keep, keep that man. Gotta do we don't get into that a little later. Because yeah. women need to. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, for me, and I thank you for those kind words. Because it means a lot for you to say that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't take. When people compliment me or give me like, you know, shout out or tell me things about me, I really appreciate that because it's also showing me that I'm doing something good in this world. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. in life is so much hate and negativity and fake, so much fakeness mm -hmm. that when people really be like, you cool, you down to earth. I'm like, of course. Like, I don't know what people expect from me. Like, I may look like I know I'm look good looking. It's, shout out to my mom and my <laughs> kids. I know I'm good looking. Right, shout out yeah. to that good DNA. But it's like, it's so much more to me than just my looks. Yeah, I'm educated. I'm smart. I can... Say words, you probably got to go get a dictionary to understand exactly what they are. You know oh, what I'm saying? On so the don't. Yeah, All literally. Words, like, I and I'm just saying because people <laughs> always like, oh, it's just about, I, I'm just a pretty face. And I'm like, no, or a nice body. Like, it's more to me than that. And I'm a good person. That's why life is giving me those blessings mm -hmm. because I believe in putting out to the universe what I want back. Mm -hmm. So that's all. I just want to help younger women. Mm -hmm. 
bypass those hurdles that I went through. So it's it's so much out here in the world that's spewed and put out into the atmosphere that's so fake mm-hmm. and disingenuous. Mm-hmm. So for me, I'm like on this podcast, I try to talk about who I am as a person, mm-hmm. let people know that. Life ain't gave me no shortcuts because of how I look. Being attractive don't give you a pass in life. Because let me tell you, being attractive gives you all kind of BS, okay? Mm-hmm. So people always feel like, oh, if a woman look a certain way. But I'm like, I'm a real woman. I'm from mm-hmm. Detroit. I grew up in the city. What? I got to come back for that. What, it, what do you pretty mean? Pretty privilege do exist. We ain't oh, yeah. to act like I'm, it don't. Well, when I say don't give me no shortcuts, like I've, I've had heartbreak, disappointments. That's what I mean. True. Everybody going to go through that, but we ain't going to act like you not handled different because of what you look like. Oh, of course. And why would I not? I'm I'm not going to, I'm not going to deny it. Absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely. Absolutely. But I also got other things to compensate. That's more valuable. But I I like what you said. I like that you're not a cute mute. You actually got personality. Absolutely. I'm a vibe. You got a perspective. Yeah. I'm always a vibe. Any room I step into, you're going to feel me and you're going to remember who I am. Not by how I, because of how I look, (laughs) but because my energy is going to step into the room before I do. Yeah. That's just who I am. Okay. But I want to say salute to you. Thank you. How was your birthday? First of all, like look, we gonna I'll talk. To like, that. We gonna get to that. We gonna get to yeah. that. My boy so, celebrated his birthday. He ain't called a turn up friend. Nothing. No, I'm not that nigga. I'm not that guy. <laughs> but look, so um, so the guy we got today that's talking is yeah. so our guy Charlie Murphy. Thank you. Yes. And yeah. we don't call Back him again. a guest. He's family. Like now. Again. Welcome, family. Ooh, welcome, welcome, welcome. 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 Last time he was here, I was on vacation. <laughs> So yeah. I, I saw you last was, time, but the, the oh, queen is saying, yes, I, I gave him, I told him, I said, y'all held it down. <laughs> I gave you your props through James. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? was a younger guy in yeah. your seat, so I didn't get to meet you then. Yeah. I mean, you guys really did y'all thing, and I appreciate you for coming back. Spend some time with fun. us. And I told yeah. him, like, you know, a lot of people know, like, I talk shit, <laughs> and yeah. I enjoy it, so. Mm-hmm. You know, this was cool to me. Like, mm-hmm. I enjoyed every second of it, and I liked the dynamic of it. It was four completely different personalities mm-hmm. on all the microphones. Mm-hmm. You know That's what I'm clever. saying? Y'all definitely That's had cool. a mixture. Yeah. We in your seat, it was a younger gentleman. In the seat here, it was a um certified old school player. <laughs> <laughs> Not an old you know. school player. And, school player. And the seat I sat in, you know, I don't <laughs> hold no punches, I speak my mind, I say whatever. We welcome and, that here, though. Yeah. Be honest, be yourself. And then we had yeah. the bus driver. You know, he he got yeah. us. He mm-hmm. took us where we needed to He's go. He's definitely he kept us the there. bus driver. See, but everybody, <laughs> see that's and that's why I fuck with you. Hit that bill. <laughs> that's why I fuck with him because that could have went over ninety nine percent of the people. Yeah, I ain't gonna get. But it. he he <laughs> saw that, and I didn't. Did I? Did we have a conversation about that? No. And that's my thing. Like when the things that we do, and that's the the art to podcasting. It's not just the simple things. It's paying attention to little details like that because you got the perspective of different guys, different people at different stages and different relationships and all types of things. So that's why I tried to make that episode about it. It wasn't about bashing women or bashing. I didn't say bashing from you guys. But it was just Hell about no, a great we, man. I, I love women. Like I literally was, we were on vacation, me, my fiance, my stepdad, dad and my mom. We were literally at the, but at the bar watching y'all into my internet just kind of you know what i'm saying so i was checking out and I, like i told james y'all did a, i didn't get bashing women well, i'm a woman and i talk about how women need to get yeah. it together so yeah, that's I, one thing about me i, that thought, I, I thought we was more open as men you no know, we were talking was. about yeah. our but you know they yeah, gonna, when my, they see that they gonna think that's what it is I until they watch that, that. No, people who watched it didn't get it, but that's what they was expecting from that. I did try and get like feedback from the people I asked to watch it, mm-hmm. and a lot of them was like, "Oh, I can relate." Like I felt like you said when you got cheated on, and yeah. you know, like it was it was cool. Yeah, and I asked y'all to be a hundred percent, one hundred and ten percent, and transparent. And all y'all, I don't ask nobody up here that's not gonna be authentic. Mm-hmm. Like we not in here with publicists. We not hey, hey don't say like we not doing that. We are ourselves. So before we get started, I want to ask y'all to do something we've never done up here, but it's been a long week, and trust me and go with it. Oh, Lord. Everybody stand up. What are we standing oh, up we about? Yeah. Are we going to say a prayer? Oh, yeah. I want to say a prayer. <laughs> I'm down with the prayer. But no, no, I'm with that for real. Like, because it's been a long week, and I want everybody to understand sometimes when, most of the time, 90% of the time, when you have tough times, you come to the people that you love and you care for and that fuck with you. And you go to the people that with the higher powers or people that you 
you know, you strive to be on a journey with them and handle it the way they do. So, dear God, I want to let you know I appreciate all my friends, my family, and I appreciate everybody that's been along on this journey. I appreciate the people that love me. I appreciate you and everything you do. And I ask for you to continuously bless us, work hard, and just always be loyal and dependable and reliable to each other. And just keep a big heart and an open mind. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. But yeah, I did Amen that because that. like it's been a yes. long week. And before we get started, like it's yes. been a long week, and it's just <laughs> like I'm seeing like you know, like I like we and her talk about. We kind of the same way. Like we are not the most religious people. We more spiritual, right? So, I ain't religious at all. So and I know and I know that and I appreciate that. That's why I really did it. And the other guy that I was going, I really did that because that's what I respect about y'all because. I don't look at it like, oh, you don't mess with this or you don't do this. So I can't support you. I can't understand your perspective mm. because at the end of the day, as much as I have a relationship with God or the higher power or whatever, I didn't actually see him. <laughs> like I've never sat down and talked to him. Yeah. So I've, I've had I've, conversations with people. I'm like, what if you walked into a room and you see me on my knees talking to somebody named Jerome that wasn't there? But I'm like, if you think I was crazy, but if I change his name to Jesus, it's cool. Mm -hmm. I ain't done yeah. some shit. It is. And you got to <laughs> under, and I'm open minded mm -hmm. to anything. And it's one of them things where I'm never going to knock somebody for their journey. Because mm -mm. look at it like this. If you don't believe, then that's his job to help you believe. It ain't my job. Mm -hmm. Like he didn't send me here to convince nobody. My thing is, if I feel you going through something, I say it. Like the best way I explain to people, and this is simple. Anybody can get parents. You can teach your kid this. This free game. What I tell people is my relationship with God is so strong. I feel like if I'm going through something or a man going through something, let's say you at your, your worst. Like you don't have nothing. I feel like you as that person who don't believe in God, you just genuinely just think I'm going to make it happen. Like you just say, I come up with a plan. I'm going to do it. I respect that. Hell yeah, because praying on your knees and Wait, wishing for a, a miracle, that shit don't do it. You got to get up off your shoulders and go make something happen. That's true. You got to get your plan together. All right, let me figure out where I went wrong. Let me figure out where I'm trying to go. And let me figure out what I need to do. Now, watch this. The thing is this, and that's why I tell people who believe in that. You right. You could go hard, work hard, work two jobs, work three jobs, can do whatever. The difference between you and my God is... I have help. I have somebody I can go to. You don't have nobody. So my help can be her helping me, can be a stranger helping me, can be me just hitting the lottery. And I noticed that. How can you make that happen? Think about it. But I, I that noticed happen? that anytime something good happens, they give all the praise to Jesus and God. No, I say good. Anytime bad. something bad happens, it's on them. So why can't the good be because of you too? Why do you mm -hmm. got to get that credit to somebody else? Mm -hmm. that's, that's my thing. You can't say, oh, I'm blessed because this and this keep happening to me mm -hmm. and everything in my life is good. I'm so blessed. Things are in my life are good and I'm not religious at all. That's true. And it's because I, I do it. You that's put true. that work in. And yeah. I'm not knocking that. Yeah. And, and I respect what you're saying. But me, I just feel like it's somebody that drove that car when I was driving home. And I don't know how I got home. And I like that you said you don't know because that's the thing that I think makes people religious. Uh -huh. They don't know, and religion gives you, no matter which religion you are with, it gives you so many different answers. So it gives you comfort because you like, all right, I got a set of rules, yeah. and I know where I'm going to end up at. Yeah. And that works for me. People are scared of what they don't know. If it's just me when they die, laughing at them, telling them I told you so, they're going to be pissed. <laughs> they're going to be upset. They're going to be like, damn, ain't no curly gates. Ain't no. I'm like, shit, everything you like is a sin. See, so, but, shit, that's why you right here see, with me. But that's, we about the whole, to that's the holy moly, not to cut you off, but that's <laughs> the holy moly. I live my life like, I'm living my life, excuse me. I live my life like, hey, I made a mistake. It's no <laughs> different than being in the house with your parents. I'll, me and her can share this. We strive to be great and great kids. We strive to get good grades, be a good kid. Have the curfew extend a little more by coming home early here mm -hmm. and there. That was our bad. So when I fucked up, it was just like, oh, I'm human. <laughs> like, I can do that with God. Mm -hmm. I don't set out to just break every rule and come to him and say, hey, Holy Father, please forgive me for that. Mm -hmm. See, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I just strive to be great and stay on this lane. And when I make a mistake, 
I acknowledge I made a mistake, not just to him, but to her mm-hmm. or to you. I'm apologize for what I did. I was yeah, dicky. I get you. You're not just in a confessional booth, just and asking I'm for living life. Yeah, I'm not sitting there. Oh, I punched him in the face. <laughs> Holy Father, forgive me. Like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. So that's why those conversations need to happen because I don't care if I'm holy moly. I don't care if I'm in between. I don't care if I'm at the end. We can still all have room. Exactly. To be that's, each other. Exactly. Yeah. I definitely agree with that because people used to tell me all the time, like, oh, you gonna find God and Jesus when you go through something. I'm like, I went to Sunday school, Larry Sunday, just like y'all niggas, and I read the book and I had questions that didn't get no answers to. Yeah. And I did my own research and shit didn't happen to me. You know, I got into a motorcycle accident on the freeway coming from Nikki's downtown. <laughs> like I should have got ran over twelve times. Yeah. So you telling me the person is not religious didn't happen and it didn't guide me towards no religion afterwards. Mm-hmm. So yeah. what that should tell you, because a lot of people kept waiting for that. Something going to happen to you and you're going to run to it. That shit happened to me. And I was <laughs> like, let me call my auntie so she can come see if I'm straight because she's been a nurse for 20 years. I didn't be like, let me go give Creflo dollars some tides. But watch this, though. That's typically how it goes. The person who least su- su- believes or is- follows him, that's the person he helped the most. Like me and her can be like, uh, prayer every day. Last dollar here, lady. Here you go. Here you go. Mm-hmm. We could be striving to be perfect, going off on people on church. Hey, man, wash your hands. <laughs> Wear your mask. You ain't eating dinners. Like, we can do that <laughs> every week. But he still gonna love you and work with you a little more. I mean, I, I get how shit don't work the way it's supposed to because I'm a car guy. I take good care of my car, but some women don't. They don't take their oil. They don't do no tires. And they car just run forever. Yeah. And me, I'll take care of mine and I'll wake up and I got to go do some shit and it be fucked up. And I'll be like, damn. <laughs> car, my cars be messing up on women too. Rarely. Well, y'all get to just drive. Y'all I keep them know. smelling good. Y'all keep yeah. y'all that um, well, they been change of clothes back year. there. Yeah. Not a year. Man, look, I know women. <laughs> that, a they year, ain't changing it with that's, that's, folks. that's like, definitely literally. a thing with women. Yeah. When, it's you know not, how many women that blew out of motherfucker? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. Motherfucker, look at that dipstick. That motherfucker. Dry ain't got no oil on it. Look at the sticker in the window. That was a year ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, how is this bitch moving? But, like I said, somebody like me, I'm taking care of mine, and it'll just... So, I, I just think it ain't no rhyme or reason to anything. You know what I'm saying? Even even if you go beyond like the religious part, I believe in positive and negative energy. You See, know? but that's the key. See, but that's another thing he don't get credit for. Mm-hmm. He don't get credit. See, and I had to learn this because I, I watched these. This I, I can honestly say this changed my life. This made me a different person. And if you want to be a better person, if, if you strive to be better, listen to those inspirational motivation, motivational videos on YouTube. Listening to those every day would change your damn life. And what they do is they say, oh, no, this is an inspirational motivation. But you always hear something from the Bible. You always Mm -hmm. hear they just taking his name off of Mm -hmm. it and they saying that. Mm -hmm. So you got to look at it like this. You're blessed because you do all the things he want us to do. You're a great person. You cool. You work hard. You don't blame nobody. You respectful. You ain't out here killing people. You don't. You Work hard, get your money, do what you got to do, and you cool. You sane. You had a dope mom, and you great. So you doing everything right. Why would he punish you? Well, I would say, like I always say, so since we're talking about God rewarding and punishing, I feel like for me, I've experienced a lot of great pain and loss earlier in life. Me too. So for me, I learned as a child how to be the person that I lead up to be who I am today. And I'm, I always say I'm still a work in progress. I believe everybody has a season. Now your season may come as a child, mm-hmm. adolescent years or adult. I feel like everybody ha- is divine order. You know what I'm saying? As an individual, you are determined which route you're going to go in life. Like for me, people always be like, oh, you walk around like you don't have no worries. If I sat out here and told you about my worries and my ups, my downs, my rounds and rounds, I just keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? I believe in a higher power, but I also understand that it takes me to make the outcome of my life to be what I want it to be. So when I talk about that, like for me, like I say this all the time, a few years ago, I was so stressed out. 
I had felt the lowest I've ever felt in my life, mm-hmm. literally. Mm-hmm. I had to make a conscious decision to go seek help, not from my mother who I trust with every inch of me. At that time I was single. I didn't have a boyfriend, nobody I could talk to. And it was just like, I went to a therapist and sat with somebody to help me understand what's going on with me. And like I said, I went every Wednesday. And sometimes I would tell my mom and sometimes I would just go. I made an effort to sit down with somebody to go through and do the work to undercover what's wrong with me. What was the so, final straw that made you go? Like, made I you felt say, like I'm crap. Going. Like, it seemed like everything and everybody around me was just like, I don't like it was a bit of like a little bit of depression. Mm-hmm. I was in school working. I felt overwhelmed, over exhausted. Everything F, it was just coming at me mm-hmm. left and right. So it put me into a state of mind where I was just like, look. I'm about to check out on everybody. I didn't like the person that I was becoming. I was upset. I was angry. And then I was allowing people to fester in my life that shouldn't have been there. Mm. So for me, as a matter of fact, I was dating a guy. I was dating a guy that was mess. It was all over the place. Mm. My work life was like a regular nine to five. Mm. I was starting a master's program for school and that had me stressed out. So it was just a lot of things. And then also I had just lost my father. Like I always tell people, my father passed when me and him were starting to get to know each other and build a relationship. Right. So I felt like we had unfinished business. So that hit mm-hmm. me. I'm in school. I got this going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing everything that I feel is going to put me in a position to better myself in life. But it seemed like everything I did took me back. I didn't have people around me other than like my mom. But my mom, like I always say, I don't put the bearings or burdens on my mother. I don't feel like it's her responsibility to mm-hmm be responsible, responsible for me as an adult. So I don't always run to my mom about things. It's a lot of battles I fight on my own. So I just felt like I was overloaded. And then also I was, I went to see a therapist because I wanted to heal from that childhood trauma that I experienced because that's where it starts. And a lot of people don't allow themselves to heal. That's true. You are a child and you're going through a lot of mental things. You become a parent and you pass that on to your kids and that's not good. Yeah. So I always said before I have kids or before I get married, I want to be mentally stable so that I can be that wife and that mother that I want to be to my child. My mom, she didn't get that chance. She had me very young. She had nobody. And I say this all the time because I watch her. Even to this day, I'm going to always tip my head off to my mother because I've never met a woman like her in my life. This woman is a good woman. She don't complain. She don't harp on the past. She just do what she got to do and she keep it moving. So that was a good example for me. So I went to therapy and I spoke and I sat down every week on Wednesday evening and talked to somebody that didn't know me, had no, he couldn't make no, he was an older man. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't, he didn't know me. He don't know where, he didn't know anything about me, my past, my current, my history, nothing. So he was able to talk to me and really get me to open up and see the things that I needed to heal with me. Because I'm like, yeah, I want to be a wife, but to be a wife, I got to be mentally OK within myself. Mm-hmm. So I did the work and I always tell people, you got to take accountability. So people always talking about God. He oh God, they call on God. No, call on yourself. Mm-hmm. You got to make the change within yourself. Yes. Like people. I mean, I under I have a, a strong relationship with God and I know he's real. And I always say I feel like I got some magical somebody watching my back. Because I done been through hell and back literally on a steamboat. Okay? A steamboat. Yeah. Like, how did he make it? And I'm still standing here today. And my life, like people look at me like you act like you don't got no worry in the world. If I sit here and roll down my troubles and my worries, we'll be here all day. But what I do know that you have to work at the things that you want in life. Mm -hmm. Like my relationship with God is what keeps me going and gives me the strength, but it's also me. That I got it. He's God is not here to save you from everything. You know what I mean? He's not there to save you. Yeah. He's here to guide you. Not triple A. Yeah, like is that's the thing? Like people think that every time it's something bad happen. Oh, oh let me go pray. Go you got to exactly. learn how to praise Him when yeah. things are good. Because good. let me tell you, when they good, that's when you better be on your knees praying and thanking them. Mm-hmm. Not I, just when it's bad. I think it's dope that you were mentally conscious enough to go mm-hmm. want to talk to somebody because I think a lot of people need to and don't. Yeah. 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 Know, we yeah. So against it. But finish what it's, you're saying. It's weird because 
a lot of people don't even value. Like she said, she had people in her life she could have talked to, but she was like, no. They was toxic and disturbed and all messed up. So what advice could they have given me? You know what I mean? Sometimes the people around you can't help you. Yeah. So they can't help you. And she mentioned him not knowing her or nothing about her. So she got an unbiased opinion about her. Yes. And that's how he was able to assess it and, and, Mm -hmm. you know, address helping her. Mm -hmm. So I think that's dope. And I think a lot more people need to do that. And I'm glad she brought that up and she mentioned it. Yeah. Like that's what's up. How many, how, how many times you hear that shit? Yeah, like I tell Never. people all the time. Like this. Never. Is- that's why she yeah. in that seat because yeah. you don't hear women actually say, "I need to get help. No. I need to fix this. I need to do this." Most it's, of them point the finger Kiki. and they it's blame. Your fault. And they Girl, let me yeah. tell you what he did. He doing this. Mm-hmm. He doing that. Okay, us being no. If it's some that we did, we. We know what we did. Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't take her out. Yeah. Oh man, I cheated. Yeah. Oh, I did this, and I got caught up. I was mm-hmm. stupid. So we, when we make mistakes, we like, okay, I gotta fix this. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. Yeah. But it's like it should be the same way because if you mess up, I don't just want to hear. Like I watched the video, and it was on TikTok, and this girl, this guy, mm-hmm. crazy shit. I'm, I, he surprises his girl. He leaves out the house like oh. at like 10 or 11 o'clock. So he like, yeah, babe, I'm about to go. So no, I don't think he told her. He just left or whatever. Yeah. So look, so he tonight. left and he went to go get some cake for her birthday. The surprise. No, the anniversary. Yeah, for the anniversary. So he going to get the cakes and trying to make a whole surprise thing. And meanwhile, she mad like, oh, it's our anniversary and he just going to dip out and, and go he off cheated. somewhere. He cheated. He cheating. She busts the car window out. So then she goes, comes to him. So just off of the fact that he left Oh, it get better. No. It get better. Because she go through his phone, phone. and see Half a text woman it. texting him saying, come get, get these, these cakes. cakes. So look. First of all, I'm not going through no No, phone. no. First of all, this is the craziest shit about it. If you read the come get these cakes, why didn't you finish the message? Because all never she saw was cakes. Through, yeah, come she, get these she cakes. She never went up through and seen <laughs> that it all, was yeah. a baker so, and yeah. what it was for. So none of she that. went out there. He come, what the fuck is you doing? Oh, I bust your window while you were doing this. You knew what you was doing. Yeah, you was acting funny the whole day. You was acting weird. I was good. I left because I was trying to surprise (laughs) you. She like, no, you I know what these chicks be with the cakes. Go get the cake. He like, look at the front seat. (laughs) Happy happy anniversary anniversary. cake sitting right on the front floor. So she come back. This is his wife, a girlfriend. This is girlfriend. girlfriend. And the fact that he even give you an anniversary as a girlfriend, and you act, girl, you ain't never gonna be Hit wife. The bill, man. This be the problem. So, so look, so this he. Is- <laughs> let me go to. Let me finish the story. <laughs> so he like, why would you do that? I be here all the time, kicking it with you. I just left for two hours, but you normally don't do that. Yeah. Hit the bell, Charlie. But <laughs> like, okay, so if I normally don't do that, and I do it one time. That didn't strike in your head that let me do more investigating or let me just trust this good dude I got. Mm. So he like, why did you do? Well, you left early and you never do You're that. Right. And you didn't you acting snap. out of character. I thought you <laughs> forgot about the anniversary. I never told you hit the bell that I forgot about the anniversary. So I'm just he looked at her, like, take this- the phone. He like read more of the messages. It's she shit. fell dumb as hell. She fell dumb. But- so it say. Yeah, this is Betty at the bakery. <laughs> but crazy <laughs> does not cakes. crazy does not get the man. So the, the whole caption was, should he stay or should he go? Go. Bye, Finito. Girl, bye. Red because flag. let me tell you something. We we like and ignore those though. Yeah. Bust a window if though. Being honest. Yeah. Because I'm the type of woman like I'm not busting a window because you're gonna have to pay for a window where you could just be doing something for me with that money you wasting on repairing we a man, window. We true, but, but, we believe but she what I meant when I said <laughs> that is it'd be a lot of relationships where you one of your female friends might be calling you, like, come on, we about to go. I know where he at and I know what he doing. He with a chick, and we about to go pull up on him and those type of relationships seem to last. And they be so the friends that go long. right back to their men while you out here. Have no friends like but that, them be the man. type of friends that go right back home to their men while you out here manless because you done acted a fool. And, and relative, crazy. relatives yeah. too yes. where, where you yeah. might get yeah. the call of, uh, hey, he put his hands on me, but you about to stay with him. But no, did you? On. So my mom always it's told me Tuesday. not to taught me not to put my hands on people. You know, you don't yeah. just hit people and put your hands on people. Mm. Like I have brothers and I have a sister, so I'm on the. I always say this: I'm on both sides of the spectrum. Like 
women have a problem with thinking they can just go and vandalize men's property, put your hands on a man. But like, what gives you the audacity to put your hands on somebody else's child? Would you want somebody putting their hands on your child? Mm. So that's how I look like women. And then just a whole little TikTok video. So you're a girlfriend and he's giving you happy anniversary. Women that are wives don't even get happy anniversary exactly. sometimes. Right. So the fact that he's even doing that as exactly. a boyfriend. Two cakes. And why are you going through it. his phone? Like, yeah. why are you doing that? Because sometimes when you go looking for stuff and you, you find, find it. yeah, but, but the, he and this never gave you a reason. Women are crazy. He like, never gave you a that's reason. That's the problem. Like, I'm not a, I'm not here to bash women. I'm really here to spread some of what I feel like. The problem is women think that they can go out and just act belligerently crazy, and that's that's unattractive. Yeah, I think yeah. it's I think in this current yeah. generation, it's a sense of entitlement. It's not just this generation, though. Women yeah. feel like give us the world, and we get to do whatever we want. Now, hold on. I, I want the world. Nah, <laughs> now, don't get it confused with the two. <laughs> now, I'm a, <laughs> I want the world, and I want it. <laughs> but I believe that a woman's you get more bees with honey. You know what I'm saying? So, and but I, like I said, I had to go and seek the help to understand how to right. attract the honey. And women think that if they act crazy, that they got the power. That that men run from that. Crazy make me yes, say bye. yes, bye -bye. and it really bye -bye. does. Like acting crazy, and yeah. it's making you look like a fool because if you you gonna be right with the man, women don't leave. They act crazy and want to stay. That make you look yeah. like the fool. Yeah, yeah. Because if Wait. I, yeah. yeah, and I, and I remember when I got out of care. So before I felt so stupid. I ain't busting. I ain't never busting no windows. So I always feel like I'm gonna hurt my hand or something. If I just, <laughs> like my you start thinking yeah. too much about it. I'm like a girly girl. Like I'm, I'm a really feminine right. woman. Like I'm right. a girly girl. So I always think like I'm not messing up these hands. <laughs> you know? Look, let me ask both of y'all this: Do y'all think? Women pick and choose who they do that stuff to. Yes. Because I think they do. I they think they women, definitely know they who they do. can and can't get away with that yeah. shit. With. You just hit it they dead on the know the repercussions that come yeah. with. If I do this to oh, Rick, tell you. this yeah. was right if I do now. This to Mike, mm -hmm. this was going I would say women tend to act out on men that they feel like ain't nobody got his back. For example, a female know, like, you could, you could stab me before you mess with my car. What? Don't like, wait, hold like on. me or my possessions. Hold on, what, stab? I yeah, what women, women stab yeah. niggas they love, but... Yeah. But that's not love. That's insane. <laughs> no, I'm just love. saying, it's like... Toxic love. Yeah, that's it's toxic crazy. Love. I've, like, my, like, I've been hurt to my core before, and I did not want to do anything but see my ex go. I mean, that's your okay, personality. Let's play go! Hold on, hold on, let's play devil's advocate. Let's bring it to this. Imagine having that man baby. Or... You was married to this dude, and y'all just got married. Y'all yeah, knew it. The dynamics add. The to dynamics it. change. My mom was nineteen when she had me. My daddy ain't never bought me and did nothing for me. You know, my mama did. She got me and got the hell on. So these women use those excuses. A kid, she okay. Set a standard. So she said a standard. I will say mm -hmm. this again: a a child is made from having sex, which is a pleasurable thing, right? Is it? It's yes. an activity. We'll call it a it, sport. It should be better. <laughs> so unless it's not consensual. We are not calling it a sport. No, it's a sport. <laughs> unless it's not consensual, you have to have a male part and a lady part yeah. to make a baby. So that yeah. baby is just as much your responsibility as it is that man's. Mm -hmm. Women act like they don't understand that whole little anatomy of how a child is created so i'm women modern women in today's society use child children as pawns of course. and they do that and i'm gonna just call a spade a spade yeah. a child is not for you to get back at the dead it's not for you to get financial gain in life because to be honest back in the day my mom wasn't getting these perks that these women get now yeah, they got these I, kids i currently yeah. know women that do it like oh he don't want me no more so i'm gonna put him on but so what? Oh, and that's okay. And that's my way of getting back at him. If he's on child but, support. But it's, it, he's already taking care of the kids. So you're just <laughs> doing that being spiteful. Part. But if you put this man on child support, be doing something for this child with that child support. Fuck no, they that don't. Never happen. That's the thing. Like, that never happened. I'm not against child support. What I am against women not taking properly care of these children they get support yeah, for. Yeah, you see these women, they yeah. be on all the trips yeah. without their kids. Bodies looking like damn, you don't think good. your kid want to go to Tulum? You don't think you want to go well, to Tulum? Well, I ain't hold on. Nah, I ain't taking baby <laughs> I'm not taking babies to Tulum. Me and daddy going to Tulum. Go to that is not, just, that yeah, is just, not a family just, trip. you right. I just my husband. <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, he know we talk about this all the time. We understand that 
the kids and family time is that, but I need my man and he needs his wife. And you gonna <laughs> wait, mom? We I'm no, talking. She a G. She gonna be like, hey, I love hey. kids with all my. Them, but they need to go somewhere. <laughs> I believe that mommy and daddy need their time. Them, kids, yeah. them kids can't I mean, always be in the mix. Right. And I grew time. up. I grew up in that generation too, to where you know our generation, our parents would leave us at home while they went. Hell yeah. Hey, my mama didn't went on a cruise and left me yes. at home before. She yes. didn't want. They complain about all it's... over America. Don't touch the door. Don't. Yeah. You <laughs> like, ain't got to answer the phone until I call. Do, I'm gonna yeah. call on Wednesday at eight o'clock. Like I'm gonna not fast. Yeah. Out, but but in this microwave shit, this Salisbury steak. You know, yeah. when you get hungry. But in this generation, <laughs> men aren't stepping up, and, and the men are really stepping up to be dads. Like in my generation, when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s, these daddies was out. Yeah. Now the you guys, I know some really good fathers. Like they I always say, yeah. It, men good. are stepping up, and I'm not a man, I'm not, I would never sit here and bash a woman because I'm a woman first, but it's just the fact you gotta call a spade a spade. Mm. Like it don't be adding up to me. Like y'all got so many resources and assistance and people helping you like support system. My mom ain't had no support system. She had herself, a few people, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So she ain't had nobody to save her. She had to save herself and also take care of y'all. So I, I just get tired of hearing women complaining all the time. Like, what you want? Like you getting it? This man, okay, this man is paying you child support. He's taking care of his kid, but you still causing havoc and you being petty. Like when like you have to understand what a man is not your man anymore, he's still that child's father. He don't mm -hmm. owe you nothing. Hey, that yeah. Like that's my thing with women because it's like you and you breaking yourself down mentally and emotionally worried about this man. If a man don't want to be with you, let him go. Like that's a man or a woman. Yeah. Don't want to be with me. I don't I was understand just it. Say, you can't even play with me like yeah. that. I'm tired of you. I just oh. get so tired of hearing <laughs> yeah. about it. Like because that go both ways. Yeah. I, I don't agree with. Just like she was talking about the toxic side of women. I don't agree with men stalking women. No, please know, don't stalk nice. me. You don't know. no, please walk don't walk away. Yes, because that's a turn away. off. Yeah. That's a she, turn off. She wanna leave, you wanna put your hands on her and all that. Walk that away. Shit. If like, a man they, they outnumber us. It's way more of them than it is us. Well, I would say this, it's it's toxic, men and women. Not but true. It's, it just seemed like that's true. All you hear nowadays is women complaining, complaining. And it's like, what more do you want? Like, you're getting broke off. Yeah. If this man is doing what he's supposed to do as a dad, his responsibility is not to take care of you, I, just I, the kid. I blame social media. I think social media then made what women expectations are so high that. But you ain't bringing them to the table, them. girl. That They don't. See, but that, that is that. the thing. And see, the thing is, is, life is all about substance. What am I bringing? What am I doing? Yeah. Whether, like, if you ask mothers, women, they they going to say, oh, I'm going to have sex with them all the time. No, that look don't good. Count. Everybody can do that. And, like, everybody can do that. Right. But if that, that's that, in your top five, then... I, I guarantee you, if you ask 10 women, they all going to put those I, in their top I, five. No. What, then, in the top five? Like, they going to put what? Sex, looking <laughs> good, and being there to support them. Those three things. Well, I feel like that, a man that is men don't even need like like yeah, for that shit. Yeah. I feel like a man yes, is we supposed need to be a for provider. Sex, but we don't else. need y'all for shit else. Well, y'all do. We can, we hold can, on now. Hold no, on. no, no. We because y'all no. wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for a woman. Let's hold on which, now. Which is what I said. We need y'all to reproduce. For That's sure. Yeah, more, hold on, hold on. But we don't need y'all for no, absolutely no, no. anything no, else. Think, no, no, think about what we think. Tell, tell me don't. what you we just need said. You don't need. So you gonna sit here and tell me that y'all absolutely don't need a woman for nothing? Tell they me what I need nothing. for besides reproducing. They ain't one thing. Right. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> we up oh, now, no, no. no. No, about, first of all, we don't need y'all for We don't need y'all to hunt. We don't get us need food. We don't need y'all to provide. We, get food we don't okay. need y'all to build nothing. We build everything. We build but how everything. would you get here if you if it wasn't for women? Which is why I said we need. So you don't think a woman going through? I mentioned reproduce. On, that let's, was it. Well, let's just talk about it. First of all, all these who is these men y'all talking about? Because okay. it's a lot of okay, men that this. can't even take care of themselves. It's a lot of men that's living. No, right. It's women. a lot of beta men that need a woman yeah. guidance. True, but. If it wasn't no woman around, he still get by. He just be at the yeah. bottom of the totem pole. So you wouldn't have no sex. You wouldn't have no. How would you reproduce? Who you gonna have? Again, that's the only. I said sex, sex would be. Sex I mean, y'all got a point with protection, sex. but it's a lot of men that can't even protect. No, the you. reason why we saying this is because of this. This is what we're saying. Mm -hmm. How many guys you know are good fathers and take care of respond? Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Like they take care of responsibility. They wash clothes. 
They clean their house. Washing clothes. They pay their bills. Is the food good? Is the clothes clean? Yeah, they do all. Y'all fold them clothes? Or y'all just leave them in the clothes bag? Even if Sundays is clean up day. I play in here baker and I fold the clothes up. But I don't really, like, to be honest, I think y'all misconstruing what I'm saying. Like, I'm talking about women and how they be tripping on these baby daddies. But also, I understand that women go, no, 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 no. I'm on, like, I understand the relevance of a woman. Like, I believe that I hold men accountable. I think men should be providers. Y'all yeah. should. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Every yeah. Man. I agree with that. Absolutely. Every man. That's, a, woman, that's a woman is a, a woman. To me, a woman should be that homemaker. That homemaker, that means you taking care of things at home. And it ain't necessarily mean you taking care of a house full of kids. That means when that, if that man is going out, taking care of business, providing for you, his you should be his safe haven. But the natural that's the natural order of how things should be in a perfect but world. It depends we talked about this on in our car. finances. It talk about it. it. That's the that's our income, both our income. Because if I can afford for you to just be home, Betty, then you could be Betty. But my thing is in this day and age, and me and my my brothers was just having this conversation with my pops. I told my brother my brother this probably around 2000 So I said, Look, man, we getting to the point where it ain't no more. The man just pay for everything and the woman don't work. Hell no, nah, those man was back and in the, the day woman standards. gotta work. So then it got to that point. And he said, Damn, bro, you was right. You do need two incomes. Yeah. Now it's getting to the point if you winning and you trying to take your life to the next level, one income ain't enough no more. You need a second hustle. Well, we just talked mm-hmm. about that. Man, I just I just made that. I just made that statement earlier where I feel like this world is not set up for you to be a single. Yeah, so and I'm a I'm all for the independent yeah. woman. But let's go back to what y'all. We gonna hold on as far as what y'all <laughs> need us for because y'all not about to do that. Well, well okay. we was the one stuttering. I'm not stuttering. Come up with I, shit. Like no, I'm, you said it like you had a lot of shit. Because y'all like, yeah. you're trying to say that y'all don't need us. And that's answer. fine. The sun will set because <laughs> I like your effort. It's, it's a, no, it's the, it ain't no effort. Okay, well, let's get that. Because answer. y'all right. wouldn't even be here without, without, without a woman. So first and foremost, we y'all talk about y'all good. For, for one, yeah, being a good father, you should be. No, no, no. Being no, a good no, mother. No, 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 no. Let me speak because okay. I let y'all being a good mother and being a good father. That should be a given. So I'm not going to salute my and take my hats off. So if you have a kid, you should be a no, good I parent. No, I want your answer. But <laughs> you talking about folding clothes, washing, what you say, washing clothes, I, No, cooking, I wanted to hear your answer on what you said that it was other reasons why we needed a woman. If a woman didn't exist in this world, you just gonna be in a world full of men, so y'all just gonna be a world full of men. You're not asking about preference. <laughs> I mean, that's what you said. We, you know, no, that's, that's not our preference. Y'all trying to, I feel like y'all trying to double no, me. No, we not. I'll be shaped. No, because not I know all. you. You, no, you are strong. You are soldier. Yeah, but I'm also on both sides of the spectrum. I'm not trying to win a battle. I'm just saying that's BS. You're not gonna sit up here and say that y'all don't don't need us for just reproduction and reproducing kids. Like we had them assembly line just dropping babies off. But we asked you for other stuff and. I don't gotta say woo with y'all. Y'all know what y'all need. That's why I'm about to say it's all right. Shit. We can move out. Right. But no, no, like, and well, yo, I ain't gotta say what y'all need. My point. Yeah. I didn't prove her prove nothing. <laughs> You here because of a woman. Women, she fought. You here for your existence but is because of a woman. Any woman sitting in that shit. Stretch her body out. Yeah. We went through all kind of ups Just, and downs. Yeah, to get you all the stuff Tupac said in. No, your head. we ain't talking yes, about Tupac. We made a lot of songs about, about y'all. Right. But no, we on this podcast love women. But yes, all we saying is, and, and ladies, this is what we saying mm-hmm. for y'all run away. Don't, throw Thank that you. Don't run away, ladies. This is what I'm saying. We as men have elevated and raised our standards. We heard y'all play TLC and blast that yeah, shit. Yeah, but y'all ain't and all. And we said, oh, I ain't yes. about to be no scrub. No. But, so, it's still, it, but it's still scrubs no, out but here. but let busted. it be, let it be y'all get inspired by some shit. And inspire y'all us, give us something to inspire. No, why do I need to motivate you? You motivate yourself. I heard scrubs. And that's scrub. true. I just feel like me and y'all complain, but pick better, look, better women. When scrubs came pick out. Pick a better quality of women. Men don't get the pick the way women do. A woman can walk into a club take home Come any man she home. want you know a woman but is it a quality man that you take at home that's regardless that doesn't no, it's matter not regardless. <laughs> it is it no, don't matter not. every uh, woman they go uh, for quality. a woman can walk into a club and get take home any man she see men don't have that option we can't just so walk into a room and, get it, some, men, some men do i'm not saying me i got you know certain shit well, we that know I your acquire. views <laughs> i was thinking that's we had a conversation podcast. for 10 minutes and you told me exactly how you feel that's another know. podcast and that was one subject but we had talked about y'all that tried the double today. We, we did not but... i'm gonna let y'all have this one but i'm coming back full ammo 
Yeah, yeah. Go, go research it. Get you some help next time. Yeah. I, don't, I don't listen. I didn't need to work for me. I'm about. To, I'm on my way to where I want to be. So I'm just out here. The women out here need to deal with yeah. y'all. I, I'm not in that spectrum anymore. Okay. Yeah, that I have. I have. Yeah, a, you I'm got a whole fiance. Be, I'm on my way to be a missus. So I didn't. Right. I didn't dealt with y'all. The the, mm-hmm. the dating life, the single men, and the bullshit. I've been there, done that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. I feel sorry for y'all, ladies. Y'all hear this? They only want y'all for reproducing. No, now. no, no. We no. That's we not all. We want y'all for. We appreciate you guys because right. we need y'all. Clean it up. Somebody to come home and have our <laughs> clean it on up. No, we clean. Oh, we bring peace. Some of y'all. Some of y'all. Did I hear peace? Oh, we all need. Some of y'all. y'all need us to bring peace. Uh, what some I'm of saying y'all. is this: It's nice to come home to somebody that's supportive, is, loving, though. encouraging, and yeah. supportive and caring. It so is. that's important. So the thing is, we're not saying we don't need women, but we saying we as men have took the challenge. And then went to the next level and started doing more around the house, more as far as business, more as far as therapy, more as understanding and trying to communicate. So I just want our props for us. Like, we're not saying y'all don't do that, but go to the therapist like you did. Well, y'all need to don't go, go to Kiki. Kiki been lonely well, for Well, me and the therapists too. Yeah, Kiki bouncing around that. on me. It goes for both. I feel like it, it goes for both. Yeah, it and really guys, does. if you sleeping on the couch and you don't want to do nothing and you mentally messing with this girl <laughs> here, you sick, my brother. You seek some help. Like, I'm team <laughs> man yeah, on here. Sitting but, on the couch. But this, this is my thing. And I'm going to say this with men, because this ain't no men bashing. All my guys know I stand up. Mm-hmm. But we got to make sure we leaders, we got to make sure we making sure these babies straight. We got to make sure we provide it. We got to make sure our women are strong and confident and beautiful and successful. We got to make sure we giving back to not only our house, but other houses and caring about other people than ourselves. So when we being selfish and we hurting this woman, she's hurting other people. And now she got to go to work and be asshole to the person that work with her. And she walking around with that bad energy around her. That's on us. Yeah. And if we want to change the narrative and join the other dudes like us who winning and being great dads, you got to get off that couch. You got to stop driving her car and get your car. It's okay if you got to do your thing, catch the bus for a minute. I'm the man. Look, buses, Ubers, whatever, no. walking. Ladies. You got to do what you got to do. But my thing is, it's always a step to bounce back to be successful. Mm-hmm. Every man take a step back, but you got to take two steps to jump forward. You got to work hard if you got to do whatever you got to do. I worked in a place making $7 an hour to hustle to make sure my sons were straight. Mm-hmm. And I caught the Get bus all the way to the west side That's to bring them my last 20 to walk yeah. back <laughs> to be in a house where it was cold. And I walked to a place that was cold to work produce and had people yelling. And I had to check the motherfucker. Like, hey, look, bro. I know my circumstance. <laughs> I know I'm making 725. But whoa, brother, I'm better than Don't 725. Talk to me like that. I would choke the <laughs> shit out of you. And when I say, dog, look, and he said, finish working what you doing. Yeah. <laughs> and walk back. And ever since he came back over there, and people was like, nah, man, this man cool. Like he a different dude. Like he would slap you. And then these people didn't even know me. I only worked with them for like a month. Mm-hmm. So it's just one of them things. I'm strong enough to do what I got to do to get to where I need to be. I'm going to always make sure the kids and my babe and everybody straight. That's a hustler. I don't got to sell key. I don't got to flip keys and do all this. I can do it the legit way, the smart way. Why don't have to look over my back? Because honestly, I promise I would be the man. I would be ghosted selling (laughs) drugs, but I don't want to look over my back. I don't want my kids. I'm not going to jail. You don't want your kids. It's not an option. First of all, I don't like nobody telling me when to go to sleep. (laughs) It ain't no cooch around. Well, you just said I can't eat. Hold up! Did you just say you can't go to jail because ain't no cooch? But you just said y'all don't know what y'all need women. I'm not. I don't want. I can't. I don't have to protect. So clearly, we all need us for the cooch. Do you have to protect your booty at home? (laughs) Like, do you got to be like, hey, stop? You, but yeah. I'm saying you saying y'all no, don't need prison. women. No, well, in prison okay. you need a woman. Oh, only under Look, certain circumstances. Busting <laughs> Betty is a dive in prison. So, prison, like I said, you lady, need a lot of different lady. stuff in prison. <laughs> I'm about to wrap it up. <laughs> let, me, let me thank you guys for joining us. <laughs> And oh, I appreciate that's time y'all. already. Yeah, yeah. I want to give a quick shout so out, quick. man. Yeah, because y'all was being mean to me today. Y'all no, trying to double team me. Proved no, you, y'all ain't proving no, no point. No, you used to be a right, and you be on point. No, it ain't shit. about being right. It, it ain't right. She wasn't ready. You tried to me. hold them down. I, I get it. You team woman. You team independent. But that's about it. I'm team right. Like if you just if you told us 
it ain't no man sleeping on the couch. We can't we can't dance around that. Like we heard the song, we see some of our homeboys is doing that. So no. certain battles you just can't win. Salute man. to the women that's letting them do it because yeah. it would not be me. But shout out yeah. to my man Tom Mitch. We work together. And he got big things coming, and he gonna be up here soon to talk about the big things he got. Keep doing your thing, man. Real respect, real. Mm -hmm. I want to shout out my brother, my pops for our breakfast we had the other day. When me and my brother afterwards talked about seeking therapy and doing therapy, and just what the direction we want to send our family on and stuff we want to talk to our other brothers about. Um, I want to say shout out to Cha Cha and May with Eatery with Love for food. I tried some of her food, it was real good. And y'all know how I feel about food. <laughs> I already thank God. <laughs> I already thank uh, your mom and your sisters. Oh, check the Rick James doc out if y'all haven't seen it. Please, what I is promise. It? What is it on? What Rick is it James on? documentary, it's on Showtime. Showtime, so, okay. I promise that mm. shit is beautiful. Rick you James. will love it. I that shit is gonna give you every feeling ever. You gonna say, "Fuck Rick, I love Rick." <laughs> Man, that motherfucker bad. How did he do that? Really oh good. shit! I have to check God it bless out. Rick. Yeah. It's beautiful. Like watch that shit as soon as possible. The Tim Team CD Tim's that CD fire. It's only five songs. Um, and we'll talk about everything else later. I wanted to talk about that Karen Civil. Remind me to talk about that later. Mm. Just the topic on that. We got to yeah. talk about that. And um, I'm hip to that. And too. I say, and then next week we gonna have surprises, man. So. You will be back yeah. in November, but you might be sooner than that because next week it's our 25th, 25th episode. Yeah. That yeah. And, and I'm glad because this guy right here been a supporter yeah. from day one like and a been there though. and a real <laughs> one. Yeah, I actually yeah. watched the episodes I'm not on. Yeah, and that's People, what's up. I appreciate If you want to come up here. We want real relationship. This is my guy for real. This ain't yeah. just up here to, to do nothing for us. He ain't promoting nothing. He don't got a mixtape out. He ain't in no porn. He ain't in no DVD. Mm -hmm. not, nothing. But I'm just saying. My only he, fans might be coming. <laughs> but he's just here. Yeah. But he here to show love. So we appreciate everybody that's been showing love. Yeah. We appreciate Brandy. We appreciate Taylor. Oh, yeah, I had Taylor, fun again. We had fun yeah, today. we had a good time. Oh, yeah. But. Thank you, Podcast Detroit, Detroit Shipping. Thank you to everybody, the team. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to you. You did You're a great welcome. job last week. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cassie, again. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yes. Maya, again. Thank you, Taylor, again. Yes. The women Thank did their thing, man. We did mm -hmm. ladies' night, you mm -hmm. know? Ladies' night. That was ladies' night. Yeah, but thank you guys. Make sure you have a great week. Stay positive. Get up off your ass. Do something <laughs> to make your family and everybody proud of you. And That's what's up. Keep God first, even if you don't think God is this. <laughs> See you guys next week. Thank Have you. a good week. Have guys. a good week. Peace. Bye. <laughs>